<laughs> okay, we're gonna start. Japanese versus Gals. Well, this is really good matchup for me. Like Japanese shouldn't lose that. Shouldn't lose that one. If we just go there, uh, champions, champions, monks, then we are definitely killing him. This is definitely a good matchup for Japanese, no matter what. The only thing skills can do is um, infantry and siege, and Japanese have better infantry. Like, okay, you can go both, but if we are playing infantry versus infantry, then the Japanese is better one. And uh, if we are playing uh, siege, then we have fast monks for that. So, yeah, this is this is pretty straightforward matchup, really. One plus two. I, I will smash. I, I'm going to smash him for sure. <laughs> Easy, quatre basi. Thank you so much, Basi, for the ten months. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for subbing with the prime. Okay, let, let's try to go twenty-one plus two, and we are really close again. I'm happy about it. I, I like this. Uh, I think we should be like clown arena was better than normal arena because the players were closer Or like they, they still are clown arena is still happening or like monsters of arena 6 is still happening but <clears throat> I really hope that this will be like more standard and that arena could be changed to fit more like into clown arena and maybe Maybe even go a bit further in it like make the bases even smaller or like even closer to each other and like distance like this between the players would be great, but this is simply because both of us are on the right side, right? So on the left side is huge, huge opening. So this is not like normal arena generation, and this is like more standard home arena generation. I would be, for example, very happy if the if it would be kind of changing the meta a bit uh, overall with the, but not not only on, on an arena. I'm talking also about Arabia in that regard. That simply uh, like MDA archers is so dominant right now, or like generally archer play, crossbow play, and like wall off, fast wall off. So I think you should be nerfing walls, for example, to make Arabia more more. Uh, feudal based more about like action in earlier on and you should be you could be easily nerfing MDA a bit you could be easily nerfing uh, crossbow plays a bit like making crossbow upgrade a bit more expensive and such right changing the meta from if the meta isn't really working if it's kind of boring at this point then and it's literally all the time the same then just keep make a change to it Right, make make crossbow upgrade twice the cost, and it will be changing a lot. And with arena, make the same, like make the bases closer, so the meta is changing. Right, everybody is now playing scout spear. That's not great. Uh, make a change that uh, the meta would be more interesting, would be fresh all of a sudden. I think this is how like AOE should be, how the how the patches should be done, and how the game should be uh, developed. And by the way, this won't be 21. I um, won't have food for it. We'll be like 23. Yeah, 23. Oh, 
some idle time. Yeah, I mean, it, surely you can you can mix it sometimes a bit, but it, it's rare, right? Well, we can agree that the meta is very, very, very similar almost all the games. And especially if you are picking sieves. What do you see mostly if you are saying, if you are having Mayans Chinese? Then you have simply a really good civilization and have basically bonus for walling. Chinese, they have loom already. Mayans, they have loom already. Mayans have cheaper walls. Of course that you will go for the early wall for those civilizations. It would be dumb not to. But it, is it really fun to play against it? Is it really fun to watch it? Not really. So yeah, like nerf to Chinese to Mayans like to their dark age, nerf to walls, small nerf to like crossbow update and you would have completely different meta all of a sudden. And it would likely be a bit more interesting as well. And with arena you could be doing the same and well I don't know maybe in you know one year you would change it again so the bases would be far away and again scout spear meta would be the play most of the time. But I feel like we can agree that the meta isn't working, how it's done right now, and uh, that could be changed for sure. And this is our last last thing about this. This is always to go to come from the like developers and uh, guys doing the patches, right? Because the players will never switch from meta that is working. If I have a chance to play like in tournaments and for that I need to play MDA archers into crossbows, then I will do it. Right? I'm not going to play uh, scout opening when I know that everybody will be walled, even though it might be more interesting. So unless there will be a changes like that from the developers, then the meta won't change. <laughs> this, yeah, well, uh, he already beat me, Repart. Uh, Repart, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, Reaper. Uh, he already beat me in the previous game. I know he's really, really strong. He's a beast. Let's put it this way. Is he going for scouts? If he's going for scouts, then boo, seriously. Okay, he's going for market. Yeah, Terror is never playing market, uh, market stable. Never in his life. So I think he could be playing boom or he could be playing castle drop. Kind of curious to see either of those. <laughs> this is what I wanted. I'm too smart for you, Terror. Now I can see what he's doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, see. See what I might get there. He's going for a siege on castle drop. Oh, <laughs> oh I love the door. <laughs> They're showing me how it's done, I guess.
Okay, okay. I'm not now finishing redemption. Actually, this can be tricky for me uh, if, if I'm not stopping that castle. Uh, especially in this lag, that's going to be really tricky. Redemption now finishing. This is so good. Okay. <laughs> Can I put monks into siege tower, by the way? Actually, no, no, no. Uh, let's, let's not. I, I want to. No, we can't. Okay. Oh. We can put villagers into Siege Tower, though. Oh, but I'm not attacking there. It's so stupid.
Oh, no. That's a nice move by him to, to go back there. Okay, well, maybe not here, I guess. Okay, well. The issue is that I don't have any villages on stone drill. Uh, I mean on, on wood, that's quite bad. He's like looking back there with those. We have to we have to guess what he's doing. Okay. That's bad, I didn't want this to, to see. I generally think that I still can win this game because I don't think he has really any eco as well. Okay, easy down.
I'm afraid that he should attack, like, I know that he should attack this one. I hope he won't. <laughs> okay, well, there has lots of castles, I guess. Oh, nice, we get a convention here. I would like to go imp somehow. Um, don't know how so far, but that's like the, that's the long term plan. <clears throat> That's boom. Bastard. Yeah, I guess he's booming like here, right? Sure, I can push him. Yeah, every castle would be up there. Shouldn't have gone in before this. I need to summarize a bit faster. Looks like he has RSC. I'm not sure. Maybe. Well, <laughs> it's a very good game. Like, this is how Arena should be. Uh, okay. This is where we are now. I think it is not. Yeah, heresy, heresy, is, heresy is an issue. But it's a good game, I, I enjoyed this one. 
if if only the cast would be there faster. Yes. It feels like he is more like fate than than heresy, honestly. As we still have four relics, we have castle in front of, in between his castles, and I'm likely faster to aim. I think we are in good spot, but it's playable. I don't have animal, just some wood. Okay, he's coming down. Yeah, I guess I guess I didn't have enough numbers here. 